So we'll catch up to you here. Six. Minus 10i, minus 18i, so minus 28i. Yeah, so plus 30i squared. Let me write that first here to make sure everybody's with us. All right. In the bottom, I get yeah, 9 plus 15i minus 15i, and that's why you multiply the conjugates. All your complex stuff goes away. So this is actually you're you're realizing the bottom. You're making the bottom real. Just to make up some. So 9 minus 25i squared. So now I can replace all the i squares with negative 1. Is that cool? So this is exactly foiling. Ooh, this is as if that's an x there, so I can, no problem. Then I look to see any i squares, and I can replace it with negative 1, because that's what i squared is. So I get 6 minus 30. So over 9 plus 25. And do you notice... I can go one more step, which is not a huge thing, but two complex numbers, when I divide them, the answer should be a complex number. And what does a complex number look like? A plus bi. A plus b is negative i. So I should end up in that form. I should be able to put it in that form. But is it okay if, sure. we, if we leave it you like that? Like, yeah, it's beautiful. So like I said, this is one step I would you could do that you don't have to, but I want to point out that this has a real part and it has an imaginary part that you can reduce. Right? Just reduce the numbers. Yeah. Okay. So you can stop there though. I'm cool with that. You can stop there, even though you can reduce it, who cares? Yeah. Uh, what equals twenty-four over what? Uh, each of these is being divided by thirty-four, so negative twenty-four over thirty-four. Oh, okay. Yeah. Minus 28 over 34. Does that blow your mind? No, no. Yep, you can totally do that. Yep. Just like x over 3 is the same as 1 third x. Right? Just want to show you this is b and this is a. Almost. Last little thing. I'm going to run away when it says, yeah. So, in the step, whenever you have still on the i form, you know, the square next to it, you always want to bust it back out to negative 1. That's the step. Now. Totally. Always. I squared so can be I simplified squared. to negative 1. Always in that step. Boom. Yeah. When i is a complex number, and you, you almost never see i as a variable because then that would get weird. And you, is it a variable or is it a complex number? It's, it's kind of like designated to be a complex number. Engineers use J, just so they could be different than physicists, right? It's like a, a West Side Story thing between them. So why is it you're a physicist, you're a physicist? Because it's a physical based on, like, well. it's based on physical versus uh, ideology. One is, one is a physical representation and one is an idea. Good, exactly. In electrical engineering, it's really cool that you see how complex numbers feed into voltage waves and stuff. It's really cool. But well, we won't talk about that. Don't we? I will talk a little bit more about physics. In straight up physics, very often the real part holds information about, do you guys know how if you have a, a, a magnet and you move it next to something, you create a current yeah. in that metal if you move it next to metal? This is why you put it next to your TV, some old TVs, and you'll see it distorts the picture. Have you ever tried that? Don't try that because then you have to degauss it and it's all freaky, little purple patch on your computer. Um, in physics, when you do the work for uh, electromagnetic field, so it's a, it's a uh, you know, like lightning, any, any uh, light itself, any, they, they, it's, it's got an electric part and it's got a magnetic field part. So the real would be the electric field part, and the imaginary would be the magnetic field part. So there's an application that uses complex numbers to capture information about things. When you look here, it captured all my magnetic stuff. When you look here, it captured all my electric stuff. That's kind of cool. It's an application of complex numbers. Do you have to know any of that for the test or anything? No, obviously not. Just me telling stuff. Yeah. You good? Uh, let me think. One last thing I want to point out. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I moved the next test back. 
to July 8th. Yay. Right? Yes. Yay. Just to give you a day to to rest. Okay. Still come to class. Huh? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I do what I can. All right, guys. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah.